oh no, I was just, I was just doing the Nick Cage voice. It's more of an audition for, <laughs> right. for when the head pops in. I'm just saying, you know, you got to do it the right way. Right. Oh, the bees. The bees. The bees. <sighs> you know what I hate? <laughs> what? I hate having every time. Every time we start the show, I hate having to say, welcome back to another episode of the GigaHub Weekly wow. Show, where we talk about things that matter to us, but may not matter to you. It's harsh, dude. Um, I'm a harsh dude. <laughs> harsh dude. I'm a harsh dude. I'm a harsh dude. I'm a harsh dude that walks a harsh road. Where did Anthony alone. go? Where did Tony go? There he is. Uh, I am host one of three, Luis De La Torre. I am host Anthony Gonzalez. The <laughs> what? I got you, Tony. <laughs> Two yeah, right over there, I'm, I'm fine. My head's been iffy. Okay, well, your oh, head's been iffy. Your head's been iffy. I don't know. There, there's some things like I just, I just, I just gotta process. Okay. Well, gotcha. Stick a thumb up your butt, and you'll feel better. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm fine. He did that already. <laughs> oh God. Okay. All right. Welcome. You can introduce yourself to the people who've oh, never seen I'm you last. before. I'm last. Adam Kren. <laughs> Tony threw me off, man. Threw a I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. No, that's, that's right. someone's motto for life. I'm last. I'm last. I'm last. <laughs> you uh, first, you're last. Yeah. <laughs> uh, welcome uh, back, guys. We're going to be talking about the season finale of up. Peacemaker. Yeah. Peacemaker. You said Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper yeah. Peacekeeper's yeah. the new bad I'm playing guys. Dying Light 2, man. Peacekeeper. Uh, okay. It's one of the factions. Oh, well, uh, it's a thing in DC 2. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's true. But before we do that, let's mention our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the pop culture mecca of the Mojave Desert, uh, where we have everything that your nerdy heart desires, including but not limited to comics. <laughs> yes. Right. Also, there's shirts and stuff. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff here. Uh, come talk to our knowledgeable staff. If there's anything specific that you're looking for, get something good for yourself or somebody else. Yeah. yeah. We're also online, so you don't have to come down to the store and talk to anybody if you want to. You go to Just cosmiccomics.vegas. Yeah. Fill your shopping cart. And Fill your shopping cart. Pay for it. And On your and couch and or your and toilet. And, and Adam will come and bring it to your door. No. He will no. personally. I'm no. sorry. Tony will personally nope. deliver it. No, we don't, no, we don't deliver. No. No. <laughs> But we do do curbside, even though nobody's asked for curbside in well over a year. You now. still have curbside? We still, still yeah, got curbside, curbside, guys. So come on down. Or we'll mail it to you. Yeah. Yep. Or come on down. Either way, get some cool stuff. Yeah. All right. All right. All right, guys. It's all, it was one of my things that I was looking forward to for 2022, Peacemaker. We talked Peacemaker. about the Yay. initial review of the first couple episodes. Right. Now we're at the end. We've seen now, the whole season. Yeah, so normally we don't do this kind of thing where we review a show. And Twice. Then just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then just bring come back to the season finale. But something pretty big happened at the end of Peacemaker. It's the season wrap-up, yeah. So yeah, something exciting happened. And it's just been an awesome show all the way through. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it warrants us talking about it a little bit, oh, yeah, right? Spoilers. There will be spoilers. There will, there be, will spoilers. be spoilers. Yep. Arm fall off boy saves the day, and <laughs> everyone dies, and then it becomes the arm fall off boy show. That's true. Peace, yeah. Peacemaker season two, arm fall off boy. Arm fall off. C- colon arm fall off boy. Yep. A- and he's and he's buddies with judo master. <laughs> <laughs> and they solve mysteries. Oh my solve god! Mysteries. With Eagly, starring <laughs> special guest star Eagly. Um, yeah. Okay, so it might be season two. We don't know. That was yeah. speculation. That was yeah. pure speculation. Uh, they they did say that season two is confirmed. Yeah. Yes. So that's we're gonna see more Peacemaker. Uh, um, okay, so what happened? What happened? Well. All sorts of stuff happened. Yes. All sorts of things. I don't remember what was the last. I think what? Did, how many episodes did we watch in the initial review? Like uh, two or three? I think three. Yeah. yeah. Three. Okay. I only had seen the first one by that point. Right. So just a quick recap. Uh, I think by three, his dad had gone to jail. Yes. Uh, because his fingerprints were changed in the data system. Right. Yes. Uh, so th- this is just a quick rundown. He just he gets uh, he gets cleared of charges. Right. Once they figure out that it's actually peacemakers. Well, that they, that happened many episodes later, actually. Yeah, I'm just trying to get. To, oh. I'm just hitting the important parts, oh. all yep. the important bits, and you can talk about the other little things later. But there's I'm a just full hitting on the alien thing. invasion. Uh, yeah, they find out there's a full on alien invasion of these creatures called butterflies that go into your brain and control you. Kind of yes. look more like mm. praying mantises with butterfly like wings. Yes. yes. Yeah. And then of course the subplot with. Uh, peacemaker's dad right he does yep. get he does get out of prison and eventually goes to uh Hunt peacemaker conf- now, yeah, confront yeah. his son yeah, yeah. yeah probably not in the nicest way yep because uh, it turns out he's a super villain yeah and you find out a lot of 
bad things about Peacemaker. A lot of his backstory and how that all played out. Yeah. 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 It's pretty dark. It actually is pretty dark. Yep. Yeah, for a show that's very humorous, yeah, it got pretty dark. In there. true James Gunn fashion, it starts out pretty hilarious and then like throughout the end it just gets downward it has grim. Some dark, dark moments. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Very dark moments. But it worked so well. Oh, yeah. It works so good. I mean, yeah. he's been struggling with so much throughout the whole season. Yeah. Like it just kind of comes to a head. Yeah. Like uh, you look at his backstory, he's like, yeah, no wonder Peacemaker is kind of messed up. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. He confronts his dad, ends up killing his dad. He kills his dad. Yep. Uh, and which is an interesting thing because uh, I think Robert Patrick's going to be back for the second season. Yeah, I believe he's, so. He's going to be if there. Have you ever as... watched Farscape with Scorpio and Crichton's head? It's kind of the same thing. I yeah, think. basically, yeah. he's imagining all the guilt has manifested itself into. Or did his father put a chip in his son's head? Oh, maybe. Who knows? I could. I, I wouldn't <laughs> is, put it past him. Is it like him. Scorpio sits for yeah. or is it all psychological? I wouldn't put it past him, but uh, uh, he's just... I, Go ahead. I was going to say, I think it's tied to the helmets, because if you notice, he manifested when... He manifested literally on the helmet. Oh. Remember? Wait, yeah. Well, it might be tie- it actually might be technological tied to the helmet. Oh, shoot. Because oh, <laughs> he did manifest on top of the actual helmet when they were looking for the helmet. Hmm. That might play a role in season two. Who knows? Uh, so that's great that Robert Patrick's coming back. Uh, anyway, so they took care of that. They hope. It left him with this terrible guilt, which right. has manifested itself into him help possibly hallucinating his father. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, and then, of course, the killing of the creatures, the alien uh, the food source, a.k.a. the cow. The cow. Which, which is a giant, giant caterpillar. Gross with... caterpillar creature. It was adorable. One, those no, big, it was disgusting. Those big eyes. Oh, gross. It had giant udders. It had giant udders, mm. yeah. Making mm. not Goo. blue milk, Goo. yellow milk. Yellow milk. Yellow so it's like... milk honey. Yeah. yeah, it's not like Star Wars milk. It's... Yeah, <laughs> it looks like it looks like cloudy honey. Yeah. Like. Oh course, God, now I'm thinking about Rainbow Dash. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, anyway, they succeed in stopping the invasion. They kill the cow, uh, and now poor. He curiously leaves the leader alive. Yeah, uh, the Adebayo, um outs Task Force X and yeah, Argus. Right. Yeah. Uh, so that's a whole other pop. Yeah, outs her, her mom's, mom's whole happy. deal. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, and now poor Peacemaker, which we can say that now because he has sort of redeemed himself in this first season, um, is now sort of haunted by the fact that he killed his dad. Yep. So, and I like and how Rick Flag. I like how and Rick Flag. Oh yeah, and Rick Flag. But like, I like how the aliens explained their motivations towards Peacemaker, and like they're he, in a way Peacemaker sees himself in the alien's motivations. Yeah, he does. That's true. Yeah. And that was good. That he was decided to do well by killing the cow. He did the right thing because he didn't want his friends to die, and he thought it would be give give you know humanity a chance to. It's also yeah. It's also the idea that we need to control our own destiny. And yeah. The truth is, having, they still killed a lot of people. Yeah. 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 Instead of having bugs do that for us. Right. Right. Because, yeah, they're trying to save the human race, but it's really because they like our planet. <laughs> right. They still have to literally kill people to to survive, to yeah. control them. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So it's not like they were nice and super peaceful. Yes. Right. They're like those, well, it's another James Gunn. Well, actually, this happens a lot in James Gunn's uh, movies. Yeah. Uh, aliens that just go inside you and they kill you and, yeah, they take like, like a Slither. And Slither, yeah. Slither, yeah. Starro. Starro. Okay. Yeah. So... That's basically what happened, yeah, right? Yeah, what, yeah. what are your what are your uh, what are your thoughts just on the series alone? I thought it was really great. I thought it was really great. I yeah. mean, we started off strong with those first couple yeah. episodes that we reviewed, uh, and now here we are at the end, episode eight. So five episodes since then. Yeah, I mean, you get some pretty major things. I mean, if if you weren't conscious of it at the beginning, Adrian Chase is an autistic sociopath. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, bar none. Like he just does yeah. not understand people and human emotions. Really. Definitely. Like especially um, when Peacemaker killed his dad, and yeah. uh, he didn't know how to respond to that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he tried petting. And him. he tried. I mean, he generally likes Peacemaker. He just doesn't know how to have a human response. <laughs> right. Yeah. He's got a lot of trouble communicating. Um, Adebayo is she's awesome. Actually, I think she's probably one of the stronger parts of the show. I like her. She was. Um, um, she was definitely like a big support character, but she's yeah. like really great. She's very, she's like almost like the the conscience of Peacemaker, you right. know. Uh, and then of course we get to see her in the last couple episodes, like really kick ass, right? Really do something wild. But she is she is like, 
I, I, I always, I picture her as like the glue of this whole thing. Yeah, you emotion, know what I mean? Yeah, she's like the she's emotional our emotional core. Yeah, mm-hmm. she also, she's or at also least the heart. She's also our our entry into this whole thing. She's our point of view character. Yeah. Um, I don't. She's just very. She's just extremely likable. You know, she's very capable. Obviously, I think she's a very strong character. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to see what happens to her in the second season when Hard, she added, yeah, she added her mom. Seems to. It's not the right term. She kind of steps back. I mean, it's not that she's not there, but it's like her role sort of changes the last few episodes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, after they kill Mern. Yes. Yeah. After they kill Mern, and you know her. Poor Mern. <laughs> I like. I still liked her outlook. I liked her general output. Her outlook when her and Adebayo are arguing, and she's like, "Oh, so you're gonna tell me that." It doesn't matter if you kill other people, but your own soldiers, you need to... And she's like, yes, yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> You're supposed to defend each other. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, that's pretty, that's about right. I mean, it's not right, but it is, yeah. you know, it it's part of being a team. I, I, think, I, I think everyone, pretty much everyone in this series goes through some sort of yeah. transformation, even, some sort um, of development, some sort of economos. growth. Yes, even even economos, economos. Yeah, he has to... To escape the aliens, he has to kind of admit why he dyes his beard. <laughs> yes. In front of everyone. In front of everyone on the radio, yeah. Yeah. Because he's pretending to be an emotionless alien. Right. Yep. Uh, I did, I thought the episode, and I th- this wasn't the last two episodes, but I thought, I think it was like the fifth or sixth episode, when they are they just got done with a mission and they were just rocking out in the van and they're like taking pictures and it's this whole kind of bonding experience. Right. That, was a, that was actually a very nice, I really like that. I yeah. thought it was really cool. It was really a turnaround for Harcourt, right? It was a turnaround for Hardcourt and Cotamos, actually. Yeah. Because that was the first time he quit making, Peacemaker quit making fun of his beard. Yep. Right. <laughs> well, that's because he, 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 he killed a gorilla with a he chainsaw. He killed a gorilla with a chainsaw, <laughs> yep. yeah. That's right, yeah. 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 <laughs> and then Judo Master, unfortunately, didn't have as a big of a role as I hoped, but he'll, he clearly is going to be back for season two. Right. Yeah. Um, he did end up showing up kind of at the end because he was in support of what the aliens were trying to do. Yep. He was very saddened by that. <laughs> by right. The, by the fact that they won, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. and so we might get our final showdown between him and peace ma- Peacemaker? Or something. I was yeah. almost going to say Peacekeeper, too. <laughs> nah, Peacekeeper's the DC's version of Judge Dredd. So right. Yeah, Yeah, that's right. We did get uh, We did get his shield. We did get yeah, Peacemaker's right. shield. Yeah, he yep. did have a shield in the last episode. Yeah, it was cool. and uh, I think it, it, there was an interview where James Gunn was like, basically, this guy is a messed up Captain America. Yeah, in a lot of ways. Yeah. Yeah. That's one way to put it. Yep. Uh, once the alien invasion is finished, however, we do get a very, it's very moment, surprising yeah. ending. Oh, yeah. yeah. Before uh, the denouement, yeah. It's yeah. sort of the finale <laughs> of the... Yeah, Peacemaker is carrying off an injured Harcourt, and yeah. in finally, finally flies in the, the justice, justice league, league. Yep. yep yeah <laughs> Ma, sans yeah. batman yeah batman was not there yeah not, and cyborg wasn't there either cyborg was also oh, not cyborg there wasn't but there, that, right. I'm, that i'm that's because of the yes. actual real life stuff going on with uh yeah uh the actor who plays cyborg what happened with the abuse on set with joss whedon on the justice league movie oh. yeah which is why i don't think he's ever gonna play cyborg again so oh. yeah yeah wb kind of took uh I think they kind of took Whedon's side, didn't they? He did. They basically prefer wow. to fire the poor guy instead of wow. investigate. So I didn't even know about that. Yeah, uh, wow. you did, yeah. Henry Cavill. They're still up in the air about about Superman. So the Superman that you see is blacked it's out more completely. Of a silhouette, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you're not going to be able to see his it's face. You can't tell it's yeah, Cavill. The lights yeah. are behind him. The the only people you can actually see, and Wonder Woman was there as well. Wonder Woman was there. Yeah. Also, you can a barely silhouette. even see her though. Yeah. And then uh, the only two people you can see, of course, were the Flash and Aquaman. Yeah, two yeah. characters Jason that Momoa Peacemaker. Urza Miller. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, they there, were actually yeah. in it. Yeah, and they get a little, they get a little back and forth. It was pretty funny. Yeah, and uh, of course, uh, <laughs> Peacemaker had made uh, two huge jokes on there <laughs> against them. I think he said, uh, "What was he? What did he say about Flash? He was an insufferable d bag." Yeah, and then he said that Aquaman, Aquaman screws and, fish. Yeah, yeah. basically. <laughs> Has sexual connections <laughs> with fish. Oh no, I heard that one was yeah. true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, no, no. That was uh, no. He he also made a a reference to the green. Oh, the green CW arrow, yeah, Green Arrow. Yeah, he brony. said that Green Arrow a was brony. a brony. And he has like a four inch. Yeah, and his hole cut in his brony up. Yeah, he plays yeah. the back end of a. <laughs> of one of the ponies, yeah, and he's got like a he's Steve, got a huge butthole in the costume or I, something I like that. I think that's because Stephen Amell likes My Little Pony in real life. I think. Oh, I Does he? I don't well, know. I see pictures of him in BronyCon. I think so. Yeah, whatever. 
I don't care. Uh, as, all, as long as you stay with got her. I was just yeah. surprised. Yeah. I guess I'm just surprised. I guess I'm just yeah. surprised. As, as no as no judgment, w- just surprised. Yeah, as long as you stay away from Jars, then it's okay. I did oh. like Peacemaker's uh, response to the Justice League showing up quite literally late to the party. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. That was pretty – what do you do when you're faced with that? If you're the Justice League, you're like, well, okay. Well, I mean, how, like, much, how much did yeah. they miss? They missed Starro. Every, yes. Nobody showed up for Starro? Starro yeah. Yeah, you're, t- yeah. Um, you're telling me the Flash couldn't show up for I li- Starro? I he couldn't be bothered? Was, I like that it was kind of acknowledgement that in the Marvel movies, and like nobody shows up for any, each other's yeah. stuff. Yeah, like, like when Iron Man 3 happened, where was the Avengers? Where was everybody else? Yeah, well, I, when the Eternals happened, where were the Avengers? Yeah. There was no like, oh, there well, were super there were, computers that, picking yeah, up that that seismic was, activity. Was they were spread to the wind, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> there weren't really many Avengers left after. Is that when it took place? Afterward, right? Wasn't it after the snap? Yeah. Yeah. So who knows where they were? I mean, Captain America's dead. Iron Man's dead, and well, Thor is Captain America was just old. He wasn't dead. Okay, still, you're telling me nobody could have picked up some sort of weird seismic activity off the coast of whatever, and these guys couldn't well, have shown still, up in a Quinjet. It would take them a while well, to get That's there. what I'm saying. You, yeah. you got to give me a better reason than just like this may or may not have happened. At well, some I like point. that the Justice League shows up late. They do show late. up late. At least they showed they up. Showed up. Yeah. So <laughs> that was a nice little bit. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And Aquaman's wearing his orange. And he is wearing, that's right. He's wearing his, orange, his, orange his scale orange mail suit. shirt. And Urza Miller's wearing his padded armor prototype suit Flash still. suit. Yeah. yeah. Oops, sorry. Yeah. He's wearing that still. And, well, yeah, those those costumes are bound to change within the movies yeah, that are okay. coming out. I'm like, eh, that's I, I, I like the Aquaman suit. Uh, I, I hope the Flash suit changes soon. <laughs> well, that movie's coming out relatively soon, Which one? Right? The Black Flash, Adam movie? Flash. Think oh, this Flash. This year? Yeah, I think so. The one where they make Keaton the official Batman? Yeah. Yeah, because of course Cause they don't got bad. They got to do their own multiverse sort of crossover mm, thingy. Yeah. Of course they they all. Have, why did we just go into multiverses? <laughs> both of us, come on now, guys. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's to explain the fact that not all actors can come back, right? I mean, how long did Robert Downey Jr. want to keep being? Well, yeah, Tony Stark. Yeah, he's fifty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't want to be Iron like Man two, anymore. Yeah, he's like that, two years older yeah, than me. I think, yeah, exactly. So, so yeah. how else are you gonna explain it? Oh, we, alternate looks, reality. I mean, Iron he Man. looks older when you see the first Iron Man and like. Oh, yeah, of course. Endgame, yeah, he's, yeah. Well, he is like 12 it's years like 10 older. years, yeah, 10, 12, 12 years, years older, yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, okay, so back to Peacemaker. Yeah. Any the best DC show ever. I'm just kidding. Ah, actually. Yeah, you, dude, you, you know what? I, w- I would agree with that That's, statement. I, I think well, I like that. I'm mixed on it. I mean, I don't know what their plans are with the CW shows, but I'm glad this is a much more. Yes. I, I don't want to say adult. I, I think that has. Mature. It's own connotations, but it's definitely a more mature take like, on the DC like, universe, and I appreciate that. And it's not it's not <laughs> Zack Snyder's BS ultra dark bull crap. Where yeah. he's basically just mimicking Frank Miller's '80s work. Yes, right. and um, not a lot of Frank Miller stuff was just, good. So yeah, it's yeah. just a much but more mature. I'm take, mixed yeah. on calling it the greatest DC show ever because should I? Because it's not really fair when you compare it to a lot of other DC shows that have a lower budget and not as not as much as a well writing team and right. all that and better production values. But I mean if we're just talking about the quality, straight up quality of like the story and, and like the acting mm, and everything, like you know what I mean? Yeah. I um, mean I still think Doom Patrol is the greatest DC actually yeah, <laughs> Doom Patrol is the greatest, but right right next to Doom Patrol is Peacemaker. That that's how it is for me. Yeah, okay. That's fair. Suicide Squad. That's fair. You team? know, I gotta go with uh you know, Flash, Green Arrow. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. No, no. <laughs> I never got into the CW. The CW shows. of all the CW I shows. I couldn't stick with them. Yeah, I just couldn't. Uh, yeah, did you have a favorite moment? Um, I already talked about my favorite moment, which is when they were kind of celebrating after a success and they're taking the pictures and I, listening to. Rock I actually music. really liked the resolution with his dad because, you know, it it was a very complicated, emotionally complicated thing. I mean, the guy is horrible. Yeah. And he did horrible things, but he's still his dad. Right. Yeah. You know, and that was just a mess. And I kind of mm-hmm. yeah. like that. I like that it was a mess and it was messy. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. very rarely are these things ever right. this neat. They resolve like themselves so neatly. Yeah. I thought that was good. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. That's probably one of my favorites. Um, I mean, you, you, you slowly start to see them kind of become an actual team, maybe even right. friends. And yeah. that's. I, that's one of the things I liked about it. Like, it didn't just happen right off the bat, right? It's mm-hmm. not your yeah, no, typical, no, they, we just they, found each other, and now we're, yeah, we're a well-oiled machine. Yeah, they each other at yeah. the yeah. beginning. And then sort of slowly start to grow as a as an actual team Yeah, and together. I think, you know, I think, because I, I know on this show I've been 
pretty public about my dislike of <laughs> of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I think if it was a show, it probably would have been a lot better because mm-hmm. he tried to jam a lot of that into an hour and 40 minute movie or whatever, and it just didn't work for me. You know, Whereas that could have th- just not breathe. been him, though. That could have yeah. been like studio as well. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. your first one's good. We got to make sure this one's good, too. So let's do this, that, and the Pressure, other. And, and then sure, yeah. Editions and yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what about yourself? Oh, Anthony. Well, I I love it. I like it. What do you have a favorite scene or? You have a favorite scene or a favorite part? Some scene? favorite theme? Yeah. Just what do you what do you like about this show in general? Ah, uh, well, ba- well, basically, I love all the scenes with Peacemaker bantering with Vigilante. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially when um, they like, blow up the car. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, oh yeah, the, their montage of destroying stuff. But like, I especially like it when like. Because you know how the post credit scenes is basically like the extended version of a joke they're talking about? Yeah. yeah. yeah like, yeah. I think one of my favorite ones is when Peacemaker's, like, listing a bunch of names. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everybody's like, I couldn't think of anything. What do you want me to do? He starts naming and, celebrities. And, yeah. and, start, and I'm, I'm guessing these are car- people that you think he's... I'm guessing these are people that you think are real in real life because I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if Peacemaker thought Mario was a real person. <laughs> but, like, he starts naming a bunch of people and then... um. Uh, what's I can't pronounce his name. It starts with an E. Um, Economos? Economos? Economos, yes. Economos, um, he's like, okay, maybe half of those people, you're right, they deserve it, but not Ariana Grande. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jokes like those I, I liked a lot. I, but um, I, that I actually like the police, the police captain one. Oh, where he tries press cards, where he's like, you got to get the hips into it. And yeah. he's like, if you're not seeing blood, you're not scrubbing hard enough. Because, you know, it was just them filming things so they could be on the TV in the background. Right. So he's just riffing, and he's just – He's talking about <laughs> showering, and yeah. if you notice, the one cop off to his left is like he's cracking up. Trying to oh, I didn't like, see the that. The rest of them are that. pretty straight faced, and the the guy on the left starts cracking up, and the one on the right kind of goes. I think and then I, he kind of gets it together, but the guy on the left, he's done. He's done. He's laughing. I think one of my and favorites. He's like, you got to get the hips into <laughs> it. <laughs> but what should? Okay, well, obviously there's that gonna be good. season two, but what should James Gunn do next? I know what I would. I don't want. think he'll. I'll be surprised if he's actually returning for season two. Oh, I heard two. he was. Re- he was returning for season yeah. two. Yeah, but as the director and writer. But here, because um, I mean, this show. The truth is, this show is very much him. Yes, and right. He's the number one reason why the show was good. Yeah, yeah. A little Easter egg that I liked is how the news team in the very end that um, um, Amanda Wall when Amanda Waller's daughter was like basically exposing the Suicide Squad and all that and Task Force X, the news team was called Charlton as in. Charlton Comics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh, right. Well, yeah, yeah they yeah. mentioned that episodes before. I think I remember bringing so it up. Yeah, I'm, it was like the name of the county that they live in. What I'm hoping that James Gunn would do next is, um, I just want to see him do Blue Beetle and Booster Gold. Even though, uh, even though DC's plan to do Jaime Reyes as the next Blue Beetle. Or oh like, no, we got to see live action. We I want to see Ted Cord. Yeah, we got to yeah. see yeah, Bronze Age Blue Beetle. Ted Cord yeah. and uh, Booster yeah. Gold. Yeah, yeah. The only thing with Booster Gold is he's. I mean, but it's like I perfect. I don't want James. I don't want to see James Gunn do Booster Gold because he'll really get into his personal problems. It's Ooh, like, boy. no, Booster Gold's just kind of a superficial jackass. That's yeah, who he is. <laughs> there's but not like, a lot of. There's it, not a lot of like, depth there. <laughs> their relationship would be like seeing Peacemaker and Vigilante. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe that's and true. Boostmaker. I mean, Booster Gold. There's not really much you could do with his origins except that he was a janitor that took yeah. the Legionnaire ring, and that's it. You don't really have to. Flight ring, yeah. yeah. He you took a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to go too deep in it if you're gonna do Booster Gold in live action. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Season two. We did our initial review, which was right. four stars of Peacemaker. We've just watched the entire series. Yes. What do you give it now? Four stars. Four stars. Four stars. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna go four stars. Meanwhile, as well, Doom though. Patrol is five out of four. Doom I don't Patrol is a very good show too. I don't know how that's possible, but it's a five out of four. You have HBO. <laughs> I do. Yes. Have HBO. Then you should you that's should watch, watch it on Peacemaker. HBO. Yeah, HBO. <laughs> um, yeah. So there you go, guys. This was our the first one was our initial review. This is our overall review now of the entire yeah. season one season of one Peacemaker. Season one recap review, whatever. Ah. Uh, it's so good. good. Check it out. It's good. Yep. Yeah, definitely, definitely seek it out if you haven't watched it yet. Um, okay. Uh, if you guys agree or disagree with anything that we've said, if you disliked what the whole show, or if you really like the whole show, please let us know in the comments below. If you, if you have a favorite DC TV show or movie that tops Peacemaker, let us know what that is. That would be even if it's Green Arrow or The Flash. The yeah, universe. it's fine. You can you can like that. It's okay to like it. Uh, <laughs> 
Okay, never mind. Wow. You'll just kill. You'll just kill Anthony. That's yes. all. <laughs> you'll just kill Anthony. <laughs> um, be sure to like or dislike the videos as you see fit, and to subscribe so that you can. Uh, get notifications right. when we put up new videos that you can like or dislike yes, yes. at your leisure. Uh, that is it for us, guys. We will yeah. see you next week. Yep. Good night. Good night.